Welcome to Growth Moments. These short videos are designed to give you simple answers in your Christian life. It is no secret that we're living in volatile times. There, there's much hate and disdain being shouted from the rooftops in our country. And as Christians, we may face, hear of, or sometimes even be involved with a scenario where we're at a loss to know how to handle it. As we answer this question, how can I respond in the right way when I'm confronted by someone who's out of control? There's a few points we can ponder with some scripture to remember to help us say the right things in times when it's difficult to find the right words. First, we need to, rem we need to realize that there's power in our tongue. James 3 verses 5 through 8 says this, even the tongue is a little member, but boasteth great things. Behold how great a matter a little fire kindleth, and the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. So is the tongue among our members, that it defileth the whole body, and setteth on fire the course of nature, and it is set on fire of hell. For every kind of beasts and of birds and of serpents and things in the sea is tamed and hath been tamed of mankind, but the tongue can no man tame. It is an unruly evil, full of deadly poison. Before we open up our mouth to respond to someone, we need to remember that there's power in what we say. Without a doubt, words have destroyed relationships. Words have destroyed churches. I would dare say words have destroyed nations. And we forget but sometimes when we open our mouth, even if we're replying to somebody who's speaking something ridiculous, that what we say is just as powerful as what they say. So as a child of God, we need to remember my words should carry power for good. But number two, I want us to realize that not only is there power in my tongue, but there's purpose in not speaking at all. Proverbs 24, 26, 4 says this, answer not a fool according to his folly, lest thou also be like unto him. We have Jesus as our ultimate example of how to handle somebody that's treating us wrongly. We don't always have to reply to someone who's spouting off their ignorant thoughts. When Jesus Christ himself stood before Pilate and was being accused of things he did not do. Luke 23 verse nine says this, then he questioned with him in many words, but he answered him nothing. Also, the prophet Isaiah spoke as he looked ahead at the prophecy of, of Christ Jesus. He said in Isaiah 53, verse 7, he was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter and as a sheep before her shearers is dumb so he openeth not his mouth. My friend, there is good to be gained by not answering a fool. Most likely, you won't change their mind anyway. As difficult as it may be, as much willpower as it may take, there is purpose in sometimes not speaking at all. Thirdly, I want us to realize that there's prestige in using our tongue for good. Proverbs 15, one says this, a soft answer turneth away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. Psalm 19.14 says this, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. 
As a child of God, understand something, that just as surely as we can cause damage and escalate a bad situation with our tongue, so also can we cause healing and de-escalate an intense situation by saying the right words at the right time in the right way. Intensity breeds intensity. Anger produces more anger. This is the reason why God said to us, address anger with a soft answer. I understand this goes against our old man, our humanity, our wicked old nature doesn't like this. It's much easier to spout off hate when we hear hate. It's much easier to just reply to a fool and set them straight. But that's not God's way. God's way is the right way. Great things happen when we maintain control. Don't let somebody else's loose tongue control how you respond. The Apostle Paul said in 1 Corinthians 9, 27, but I keep under my body and bring it into subjection. What Paul was saying to the Corinthian church is that I don't let my body control me, but I control my body. Since the tongue's part of my body, I should let my tongue control me. I should control it. And so should you. So how can we respond in the right way if we are confronted by someone who's out of control? Number one, realize there's power in your tongue. Number two, realize there's purpose in not speaking at all. And number three, realize there's prestige in using your tongue for, for the right reasons. Let's all be Christians that have our words sprinkled with grace and, as the Bible says, seasoned with salt so that we would know how to answer every man. Thank you for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you're sure not to miss any of our upcoming videos. Thank you.